Chairman Mao said, let those internal and external reactionary cliques face us in trepidation. When they say that this cannot be done and that cannot be done, ignore them. With indomitable and indefatigable efforts, the Chinese people will steadily attain their objectives. The sun rises from the east every morning with rosy rays in myriad shapes. Our great socialist fatherland is in a... Our great teacher, great leader, great commander, and great helmsman, Chairman Mao, is the red sun in our hearts. Under the leadership of Chairman Mao and the Chinese Communist Party, under the guidance of the general line for socialist construction of the party to strive hard and strive to advance, and to get greater, faster, better, and more economical results, and under the three great movements of class struggle, production struggle, and scientific testing, our Chinese people have achieved great successes. Our nation's people's communes are further developing and consolidating. In the wide countryside, there is revolutionary outlook everywhere, and there is laughter everywhere because of bumper crops. They sing, learn how to do things on a large scale, and have the courage to do things on a large scale. Gather the red flowers which are blooming everywhere on a large scale. The broad masses of workers on the industrial war front are fiercely engaged in revolutionization and fiercely breaking loose from foreignization to choose their own industrial development path. They are applying maximum efforts they dare to apply maximum efforts. This spirit of applying maximum efforts is prevalent throughout the whole nation. Throughout our great fatherland, the heat of revolution is generating everywhere, and a new all-around leap forward situation is emerging. Our national defense industry, under the correct leadership of the party's central committee, the great leadership of Chairman Mao, Comrade Lin Bao, the close war buddy of Chairman Mao, and Comrade Zhou Enlai is progressing at a thousand li a day. Preparations for our nation's first nuclear test are intensely underway. Mao Zedong's thoughts guide us in all our work. In response to Vice Chairman Lin Bao's call, the comrades raise high the great red flag of Mao Zedong's ideology, creatively study and apply Chairman Mao's works, and apply themselves vigorously. Servicemen in the engineering corps, braving bitter winds and sandstorms, are struggling day and night, overcoming difficulties to erect various buildings and installations for the explosion. The scientific and technical personnel, even with crude instruments because of the lack of sophisticated instruments, are carrying on preparatory work in chemical analysis. Our nation's broad masses of workers, 
engineers, technical personnel, scientists, and officers and men of the People's Liberation Army all energetically put their efforts together to make a large quantity of instruments and equipment. Here, the various instruments are undergoing a final check before the test. These instruments laid out on the site will accurately record the various results of the test. Chairman Mao has taught us that when the enemy sharpens his sword, we must sharpen our sword. We not only must have our own atomic bomb, but we must, under the threat of the enemy's atomic bomb, acquire the capability which we should have to destroy the enemy and the knowledge to preserve ourselves. The comrades, ready for the test, are intensely engaged in training activities. Fighters armed with Mao Zedong's thought are not deterred by any difficulty. For training, they pick the hottest time in the day to march in boiling sand. In each training session, how much sweat do they perspire? During the intense struggle, they always maintain the glorious traditions of our army, resolutely struggling in spite of hardships and displaying the cheerful revolutionary spirit. Comrades of the cultural and arts troop penetrate deeply into the area to conduct propaganda and stimulating activities. The comrades, using discarded lumber to make poles and grass strings to weave a net, engage in mass physical exercise. In the whole test area, the atmosphere is enveloped with a spirit of unity, tension, solemnity, and animation. Comrades of the Quartermaster Corps are delivering supplies straight to the door with the single purpose of servicing the whole front wholeheartedly. Streamlined trains reach the site and sewing machines are moved to the barracks. The testing day is approaching and all types of equipment and arms for testing are transported to the site. In this testing, not only will all kinds of testing equipment and installations be used to measure the magnitudes of the atomic bomb, but four categories of equipment and installations for national defense, engineering, animals and civil defense will be subjected to testing. 